Today I spend 100 days playing Don't Starve. From battling multiple bosses unique to the specific season, to finding the Pig King later in the game, and doing my absolute best to stay alive while surveying the grounds in some caves. P.S. I did manage to stay alive. This game was definitely limited to what you could do or add compared to its predecessor, Don't Starve Together. No mods were used during this playthrough. Though, without further ado, I spent 100 days in Don't Starve and here's what happened. Moments before starting up the game, I needed my character. No, not Wilson or the librarian, but Wigfred. She would overcome all the odds that crossed our path. Whew, we did it guys. We finally got the character I wanted. Apparently it wasn't uh, Wendy I was trying to go for. I was trying to go for Wigfred. Wigfred is a beast, lover to death, and I'm gonna do it hard, okay? Passed out on our very first day, we were visited by a stranger, giving us some advice to find and eat something before nightfall. Oh, here we go. We are in. All right. Now, the cool thing about Wigfred is the battle helm and the battle spear. These things make you almost invincible-like. It's it's pretty dang cool. Not gonna lie. But that said, we need to find gold. I need to find gold fast. Sounded easy enough. So picking up a few things from berry bushes to some sticks, we jumped into our wormhole that took us to the opposite ends of the map. Wait, where are we? Oh my god. <laughs> it is so far. Oh, look at that. The brick path. Woo, we found the brick path. This is really nice. This whole toe, this is so good. And it's going up too. Continuing my way on the path, we found a little pig who needed saving. Go smash, baby. Come on, I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. Until I don't help. Until I gotta kill you. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Just gonna take your stuff here. Don't mind me. Like that, that's, that's a lot of spiders, huh? That's, <laughs> that's uh, many a spiders. With nighttime approaching us here, all I did was build a torch and panic so hard. That is spreading way too fast. Oh, crap. Uh, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna get some charcoal. You can't tell me you've never done that before. I see you. I'm looking right at you. On a more positive note, we did have an endless supply of charcoal if needed now. That, and I found some beefalo close by to my mess of a place. Food not fit for a warrior. <laughs> Ew. With a bit more pursuing around, I jumped into a new wormhole. Ooh, we're by shipwreck and everything. And scooters and balloons. I've seen the parrot before. I wish I could have shown that to you my first time seeing it. It would have been cool, but eh. Finding the same stone path from the night before and setting up camp. If that's the case, this is a nice place to build a base right here. Right here, right here, right here. I love this path too. It's so cool. But make the fire, make the fire. Make the fire, make the fire. We didn't start the fire. Burr, 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 burr. Time for food and scary stories over the fire. Without a backpack or a way of collecting certain things we would need, the best I could do was find rocks in the forest for mining down. Good thing we found this like bit of stone and gold over here. Just because I don't think we'd find it anytime soon. The map is kind of wonky. And with a more permanent solution to my fire problem, this would help loads. All right, so what we need to make is the science station. I need, ha, 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 I need one more rock. <gasps> Did we see another rock somewhere, guys? With a new day beginning here, I was in search for more beefalo. The last location we found was too far, and it'd be such a hassle if we needed their protection. So in doing so, that was the plan. Thankfully, the don't starve gods were listening and praised me well. There is a lot of beefalo, huh? Okay. Do you imagine me attacking one of them? That's it? Done for? What we really needed was a science machine to get started on the base. At least the extra inventory space would help us. Can we at least make a backpack? I'm gonna need food. Oh god. Something I should mention about Wigfred, she could only eat meat. And would you look at that? Look at the one thing I can eat and I'm currently out of. Crap, oh crap, oh crap, this is not good. This is gonna suck. But I needed it. Oh god. On top of that, this was the highlight of my day, I must say. <gasps> is that Chester? Oh, Chester boy! Chester's coming. Hey, it's Chester! Chester, Chester, hello, hello. I've gotta go kill a beefalo. This should be fun. That's not what I planned on! Oh my god! <laughs> I just need to get one to come with me. Come on. Come on, come on, my turn, my turn. Your turn. My turn. 
We got meat. How about you? Feeling a small sense of regret, I had to trade in killing beeflo for the rabbits. It just wasn't for me. While heading into the next day, the sounds of beasts started approaching us. See, and that's why beeflo were the best, okay? Let me tell you. Find beeflo, build something close by, sometimes you're okay. Filling up what we could with Chester, I was on my way to feeling that much safer. Roaming around the grassland some more, we caught a wind of a fight happening, ready to take on anyone who came my way. <gasps> whoa, whoa, hello? For the king? Oh dang, they're fi- Ooh, you know what? I think I should help these guys. Alright, we did it guys! We did it! Good job! Okay, you need to stop that, alright? I wasn't trying to do that, but okay. Clear up the spider. Back on the stone path, we came across a little pig village with this next part. <gasps> the pig king may, may- No, never mind. Wait, maybe- Picking or just pigs? Lot what the fudge? Yo, there's just lots of pigs. Yo, I can't pick. See, I can't eat any of this stuff. <laughs> you know, it'd be great if you had a person who was like the attack, like the offense, which is me, this character, Wigfred, and then another person that was like, you could eat all the vegetable and fruits. Just give them all that. I couldn't believe it. This took me far too long to find. Oh my God. Finally, 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 finally. Where's my pickaxe? I don't have a pickaxe. Give me pickaxe. However, with the big birds surrounding the place, they wouldn't let me out of their sight just yet. That wouldn't stop us though. I needed stone, flint, and gold. So from beating down more chunks of stone, we would gather more gold and more flint for days to come. Full as can be, we started making haste back towards base, picking up some poop along the way to store the extras inside of Chester. Can I do it now? Alchemy engine, finally. Oh. Gosh, darn it. Okay, there we go. Alchemy engine, finally. If we go to food. I also made sure to have some time in setting down a few drying racks for the meat, giving our food a little more lifespan along the way. With all that meat drying on the racks and with extras to come, the next best thing was a crock pot, built proper and right next to the drying racks. After that, it was back to a bit of farming. From pieces of hay and sticks all around, we even had this nice lump sum of logs to be torn down. Those would come in handy for some chests in the near future. While the night skies were approaching, this was kind of cool. All right, now to test something out. So if we go to the crock pot, I put one and then one, two, three. Can I? Is that like, I hope that's good food. I hope. It's like at least edible and it's meat still. <laughs> what is it? Harvest crock pot? What did we make? Uh, wet goop. Is that... That's not food for a warrior. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. By this point in the game, I was trying to figure out what the best food combination was. Since I was only allowed to eat meat, how much could I really eat? I hope this works. I so hope this works. Okay, so... Jerky. Oh, we already had a jerky in there. What? Does this work? Please work. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm trying to make meatballs. This lady can only eat meat, so hopefully a meatball is, is good. Uh, we'll see. Oh, oh! It make it the meatballs. Now, can we eat meatballs? Oh! oh. <laughs> we can eat meatballs, okay. And I don't think I need jerky. I think I can just do whatever type of meat, as long as it's like almost a morsel. Oh my god, yo, meatballs are gonna be sick. Okay. Oh, that is so exciting. But now we need berry bushes, so... Yes, I can't eat berries, but the berries are so good. And three berries plus that is like beautiful. Once done, thus began the storage system placing of the chests. Determined to fill out the map, most of what I did was volunteering myself to each place. Oh, I mean, that's really cool. We got a gnome and a box thing and a spear, but I don't need that. Seeing what I could find or what I didn't find. About a day or two in and it seemed things were going pretty well. With a new day here, the plan was to dig up most sticks and bushes we could find, having as many as possible stored up for the days and even a winter or two coming soon. That's a lot of spiders. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of spiders. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, Chester. Come on. Let's do it, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't know there was a <laughs> that many spiders. <gasps> okay, do you see all those spiders? Today, I would find myself getting lost in some swamps to no extent. Good thing I had the helmet on. Holy crud. Didn't think that would hit me for some reason. <laughs> okay, at this point, now we're just trying to get back home. No, 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 no. 
Now we were running back home for our lives. Hey there, Chester. Chester, Chester. Let's go, buddy. It's hard to even have just like extra food on me because if it's only meats, there's only specific places I can go to for that. All right, on that note, let's see if we can find more berries and meats. If we were going to get more food, I was in dire need of berries, berry bushes, and more spiders. We had a lot, but more was still needed. As more beasts approached, I was ready for round two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, beasts. Come on, beasts. Where you at? Food was at a serious low by this point in game. Next was planting down the berry bushes we had and giving it fertilizer required. Things like berry bushes and regular bushes will always need fertilizer. So make sure you stock up on that poop, okay? On day 17, it was all about gathering the bushes we left behind, going from one place to the next and getting a good stack for back at base. That and I finally found the last thing we would need for the food's survivability, cogs. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh God, that's not what we need right now. Okay, wait, 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 what if we... Oh! Dude, we're just taking that and going. We're just taking that and running. I am running with it. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Okay, now we just have to get away from you. Oh my god. Activate Maxwell's door? Uh... I don't, I don't want to touch that. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't even know what that's supposed to do. Oh my God. What is that supposed to do? The way home was easy and straight on the stone path. Right in early, the rain had me worried and so ensued to me building a lightning rod. One that would keep our crops from burning down. Now it was time for my favorite part. Something that truly brought me joy. Perfect. Whew. All right. I'll do that one. Actually, no, no, no. I'll dry that one. All right, let's get, let's get, let's get this going. All that was left to do was giving the rest of our bushes more poop to then grow. I wasn't done there, however, as more berry bushes were still needed and out in the wild, both of which I gathered myself and brought back to base. What I hadn't realized, the place was actually getting colder and I needed to do something about that. Now was my time to shine and hopefully not die. I'm gonna just find all the beefalo and shave them up because the, uh, yeah, that's coming. Okay, there was like, a lot of beefalo in like a pack. What? Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. No. Okay. That's where the pack was too. Oh my god. This was the pack I was looking for. God. As you can tell, it was getting colder and I needed warmth right now. With all the berries being grown and harvested, the last thing we would need was cobwebs. Alright, kill the gold first. Okay, now is winter. You see how the screen's going freezy freezy? All right, hold on. I also have to make... Oh, it is! Yo, we can use carrots too. Oh my God, that's actually amazing. Okay. This is where things would get tricky. It's winter. It is actually winter now. And uh, the beasts are here. Need to eat one damn bad boys. Oh, that's an ice one. Oh, wait, what? What the fudge? Yo, stop that. All right, none of that. Now, yeah, no, it's officially winter, guys. This is, um, oh, feather. Oh, oh, another feather, what? All that was left to do was us to find more twigs and bushes around for storage and later use. Oh, it's snowing on the screen now. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it is good, but it's also not good. The cold was something else and probably the most intense season to really put fear into my eyes. So this would challenge me from here and now. Man, that spooky music just hits hard, though. I really like that. Is that another mandrake? Ooh. Okay, that's not good. That's when you need a fire, because he's a little too... Ow, you know? You know? Look at how snowy things have gotten. Everything's just covered and really grayscale. That wouldn't stop me, though, because we still needed more food to survive out in the nights of winter. Penguins! <laughs> penguins! <laughs> it's penguins! Anyone ask for some spider shenanigans? Ooh, let's go, baby! Woohoo! Look at this! Oh, I'm on a killing spree. <gasps> There's a level three already? Getting all the cobwebs I can place. <gasps> Give me the cobwebs! 
This next part, our heads were looking pretty cold with our stomach looking really bare. Such a close call with us trying to shave all the beef low in time. All right, guys. I wonder if I could just take it all now. <laughs> I finally found the big pack. This is the one I was looking for. Look at them. Cute beef low. Give me all your fur. Starting up the fire back at home, I was in prep for more food. Just before heading out, we caught wind of penguins nearby. I think I have to just, yep, there they are. Okay. Uh... Oh God, oh God, it hurts, make it stop. Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know, I know, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. I didn't take the thermal stone. I'm a dum dum. Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop. But hey, did pretty good there. Here are some more hounds and naked beefalo. I'm going. I'm going. I don't hear the barking anymore. Ooh, but I hear them running. Okay, that's a normal. Where's the ice one? Where's the ice one? <laughs> We're, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. If I get frozen by that one, I'm dead. So don't get frozen. Alrighty, let's do this guys. You ready? You see all these beefalo? Attack them. Nope. Ow, what the fudge? Did you actually hit me? Oh, hit the beefalo. Hit the beefalo. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Hit the beefalo, hit the beefalo. Come on, hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him. <laughs> Whoa, you just froze them all. But you also died. So fast. That's great. <gasps> blue, blue, blue. I got another one. I was so thankful to have all these beefalo close by. With it being midwinter, I was looking for a walrus tusk that would greatly benefit me for weeks to come. All right. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Oh, they got frozen dogs too? Shoot. I wonder if I could pull them first. Oh, Wait, 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 now's my chance, now's my chance. No, 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 attack them, attack them. Yeah, 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 attack them. Ah! What? You shoot range stuff? Um, I gotta kill him. Did, wait, wait, did he give us something? Oh, I got a blow dart? I need to kill someone else. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm just gonna, wait. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Die, 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 stop running. Hey, dum dum. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get, oh, damn it. Unfortunately for us, there was no hopes in finding the walrus tusk just yet. The next little task here was prepping and preparing to make a new weapon. This thing was a beast and used full pieces of pigs or beefalo. Okay, this is gonna be dumb or not. Oh god, oh god, oh god, wait, 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 maybe it wasn't dumb. Oh, it was so dumb. Oh, God. Oh, this is not good. I know, I know, I know, I know. I just need to lose one of you. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. If I keep running, if I keep running. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. We just got to run away now. We just got to run. We just got to run. We just got to run. I know, I know, I know the fire. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. If I can just put those guys to sleep, that would be great. Oh, putting on the other helmet. <laughs> now it was time to see how powerful this weapon was and all the rave going on. Swords, I can make two, two. <gasps> yes, we could do it. Perfect. Here we go, here we go. Oh wait, are these not stackable? Ooh, that's not good. The biggest thing on my to-do list was searching for koala font. This would give us full scope and the ability to roam around the entire map and not have to worry about freezing to death. I can definitely tell you I wasn't ready for today. We didn't have a walking cane or the new weapons we made for the specific reason. This is why I made those weapons, but hey, we didn't have them. I wonder which way he comes from. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, uh-uh. Hold on, let me just sit back here. Might be better that it spawns out here. I'm gonna stay right here. We're gonna stay out here, guys. <laughs> which way do you think you guys? Which way? Which way do you think he's coming? Down. <laughs> Hello, friends. We're not friends. Yo, he just murdered that man. He murdered that house. You know what? Maybe we should just let them do his thing. You know, just let them. <laughs> oh. 
Oh crap. Ow, it hurts so much. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was the penguins. Please stop. <laughs> what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Oh crap, you're gonna hit it? Okay. Light it, light it, light it. I gotta light everything, I'm sorry guys. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, it's a good thing I had the helmet on. I can't see a thing. Woo. Trace, no, come back, come back Trace. I can't see. I need to see. <laughs> it's running, the trees are running for me. Oh God, okay, now I actually cannot see. Uh, that's not good. Oh, we found him, I think we found him, I think we found him, okay. Yep, okay. Oh my God, when that thing hits, man, it hits hard and I need food. Okay, the control thing doesn't work, I gotta use F. Oh my god, okay, so when I get... Come on, come on. Yeah, whenever you fight this guy, you have to expect a zero sanity. Oh! We killed him?! He only had that much HP?! Are you kidding me?! I thought he had more HP! Oh, I'll take that! Oh! Let's go! Okay, I'm not even scared anymore. What? Oh, this is so nice. Winter now is a breeze and I can just, oh, I can breathe. I can actually breathe. <laughs> oh man, this is so good. We got tons of meat too that we can put away, come back for the carrots later on. How I felt in the moment was unreal and just unbelievable. This was the hardest thing I had ever done before and finally beaten my first ever boss in Don't Starve. The last thing I wanted to do was pick up the rest of the carrots laying about. There was plenty left to take, but no space to carry them. What made this day so perfect was overcoming my fear and building the second ice box. You ready guys? Look at this. And now we don't have to worry about space. Um, so we'll take these. Perfect. And we're not using the hammer right now, so we're gonna put that away. That and it seemed the snow started melting away, which was lucky for us. Guys, 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 snow's going away. Oh, winter might be done. Oh, winter might be done. Winter might be done. Basic materials go over here. That didn't mean winter was done. It just meant the snow stopped for a little bit to give us a bit of a break. Planting down the last few berry bushes, I started fertilizing what I could, and then it started. The snow! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Winter's not over, guys. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god, it's... Why? Go away! I don't want you. Oh, go away. All right. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Pig King down below. With the world at my fingertips, I was ready for anything to do everything, looking to reveal more of the map and find any more rocks or gold laying about. We did get super lucky with all that and more. What I was really in search for was the qualifier. There it is, there's the foot. Oh, my berry bushes are gonna be growing soon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Footprints close by, I could smell that beast. Is that, the, is that a qual? That's a qualifier. Look at it, guys. Wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta not chase it. We have to have it going run into the side. Oh, here we go. No, attack it. What are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Okay, summer is going to be weird. <gasps> we did it, guys. We did it. We killed the qualifant. And we got the, the uh, qualifant trunk. That's really nice. Look at that. But, oh, dang. There is durability on it. That's okay. Now it was time to head on home back the way we came, finding our chests and everything to store away. With a new day here, we could finally start working on some bird cages, feeding any food to the birds for their seeds to then grow crops. That's right, you feed food to birds, they poop seeds for you. It's, it's pretty great. Take the bait. <laughs> and then you just put the bird in the bird cage. Oh my god, it says in prison. What? Do, do, do. do we just stale seeds? What? Oh, I have another bird. What am I doing? Thus, with the sounds of beasts ahead of us, hounds. So quickly crafting up a new helm, I was ready for whatever came my way. Oh, here. Th oh, that's a fire one. That's a fire one. Come 
Come on, meat helmet. Don't you attack Chester. Chester's mine. With those same birds caught and seeds farmed, that meant it was time to build some improved farms, making sure our Viking Wigford's stomach was full and ready for the next day. With those we dug up days ago, we could start on the other half of our farm, from twigs to bushes. I also had a hunger for more blood and testing out my leftover ham sore. All that was left to do, plant the rest of our hay bushes down and use the full moon to my advantage. <gasps> it's a full moon, baby! Let's go! Full moon. And for those who don't know, I do actually stream these 100 day videos on my other channel. But most of chat did mention that I should prepare for summer. Something I didn't know is that I think Don't Starve doesn't have a typical summer or maybe not at all. I think it's just a very basic way to kind of introduce you to the game. By day 43, food was in abundance and everywhere. Now I had to plan out what was next. Though now knowing that summer might have been upon me, I was scared and trying to over prepare. See ya, Stalinto. Can I make another one? First was the thermal fires. Sadly, I built the wrong ones, which would eventually die, but oh well. Taking my time here, it was all about organizing my inventory and getting things straightened up. It's like these might definitely go on fire. Like I could see this whole thing going on fire, just being set aflame. And this, look at this, the grass too. Next, it was time to take down some of the farms just in case summer started setting things on fire. I can only imagine everything spreading so quickly and destroying all we had. After that, it was time to see what ice had melted away and if anything survived the last few days. Oh, we got doggies again. Okay. Okay. I will say the big birds left me no choice in the matter here, okay? If that wasn't enough, the only way to truly end this day was looking for more cogs. It is a big rhino dude. Hello. Wait, what if I get him to hit this guy? Ooh, what if I get him to hit this? Ah! Ooh, 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 this could be good. We did it, we did it, we did it. Wait, did we kill the big rhino too? What the? Oh, that's why. I swear it wasn't me, guys. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Oh my God, I just realized that <laughs> the tree's moving. Oh, I mean, cool, I get I get the stuff, but hey, that's, I don't know if I like that. While taking my time as I ran back home, I would soon learn about the Flingomatics range. Hey, there we go. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Boop. And it even shows the range. Oh, that's actually really nice. Dang. I want one, I guess, to cover. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. I got this. I got this. I got this. That's right. We didn't have it because... This. Today was me just chopping down more wood. A lot of wood. And so much more wood. Wood for days, really. Check out this new gold shovel, by the way. I was really trying my best here to save what berry bushes we had. Going stale wasn't good, so that meant I needed to cook up more food for our Viking lady. The rain wasn't so much fun, and I had the perfect excuse to test out my new umbrella. How do we make a uh, umbrella? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot we had an umbrella this entire time. What am I doing? What I didn't know would come to pass was another boss fight, however. This thing was so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Something's coming. Oh crap, what the fudge is that? He just destroyed my entire base. Uh, he destroyed my entire base. What even is this? Ow, that hurt. Okay, you are literally destroying everything. What the fudge? Like, how am I going to build my base up again? Oh my god, and you're dead? After all of that, really? Oh, all right, let's go check out my base because it's it's literally all destroyed now. So weird though. I felt victorious with another boss kill, but also so defeated with what just happened at base. One hit. 
and everything went down for the count. Any time I had left was me just putting my base back together or what was left of it. Afterwards, it was setting up base 2.0. Again, maybe it was just dumb luck or things were so far gone. I was so close to giving up at this point. As we continued into the next day with no sanity, I had to fight my way through victory. Ooh, we're insane. Okay, that might actually be all right because we need to farm some more stuff. Got some nightmare fuel. More nightmare fuel. All right. Luckily, it wasn't too difficult. That and we had this over an abundance of flowers near the place. It made for an easy recharge. Following more of the path, I found my way back to the cog area, looking for a rematch and some more cogs. All right, just go for it. Screw it. I'm just going to hit him hard, as hard as I can. Oh, and you're dead already. Cool. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> there was even a nice level three spider nest next to us. I got a spider egg? What? You seeing this? Look at this. Spider eggs? Are you kidding me? Can, can I? Are they mine? What left me confused and also worried was when I saw penguins. That meant winter was coming again and left me without a thermal stone. You could probably guess what I did. I ran straight towards base without a worry in my eye. With an umbrella in my hand and winter hat on my head, I was ready. Walrus Tusk, here I come. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can kill these guys really quickly. Oh god. Okay, he's attacking. That's fine. This is not fine though. Oh, I don't want to be put on fire. Hold on, where's the path? The path! Where's the path? I need the path! <laughs> um, I need some wood really quickly. Hold on. Who needs wood when you have fire? Fire! Ow. I couldn't believe how much I messed up there and how long I would have to wait now. You're, de you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm killing your kid. Ugh. That's what you get for running. Okay, now I'm gonna kill you. Hey, big poppio, daddy-o, daddy-o, poppio. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're so dead. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It, oh. Oh, the tooth went and you, oh, you mother. Uh, I don't know where there's another Waller's Camp too, and I don't know if they respawn. I'm sure they do throughout the summers, but I don't know how long it takes. D, it was very annoying. Realizing it would only be a few days until they respond, really. So that's exactly what I did. Heading back towards the Walrus Camp, it was all about waiting a few days out. Picking up a few twigs and bushes along the way. Oh, touchstone. Can I touch you? Aha! That's the first one in the game that I found. What the fudge? <laughs> that is, that is legit. The first one. Checking out some graves along the beaten path that would hopefully give me what I wanted. This would bring me full circle as it was time to check up on our walrus friend. Oh, look at this man. He's crazy. Oh, they're both crazy. Actually, this might be my chance. There we go. Please give me a... <gasps> he gave us one! He gave us one! He gave us one! And there's also uh, people coming. Dogs, dogs. Oh, wait, actually, this could be good. Let's just set up some fires here. Or, well, fire, not fires. Okay, wait a minute. That's a lot. I didn't. Yo, come on. What the fudge? Oh, my God. Oh, I killed him? What the fudge? Oh, I did not expect to kill you. Finally having exactly what we needed, I was ready. One of the best tools you'll ever craft in Don't Starve, guys. This is it. <laughs> I did it, guys. I did it. I did it. Oh, I got the walking cane. For those who don't know what a walking cane is, this is so good. Walking cane is amazing. It is a beautiful, tactical, non-lethal weapon that gets you from point A to point B in, in a flash. <laughs> All that was left to do was see how far we could go and if there was any ice around. By the end of the night here, I started freezing and I completely forgot what happens when you build a fire too big. This might set everything on fire, actually. So, yep, there it goes. Yep, okay. Um, well, hey, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. What I was hoping for in my travels across the lands was more stone, gold, or anything, really. Oh. Ooga booga. Ooga booga? Did I win? It seemed that I chose the smallest of maps and with limited resources. The most we found was more poop around the beefaloes. Dare I say it though, as we started revealing the last few bits of the map, we found him. And all his gloriness. Oh, the pit king might actually be down here. Oh god. 
Yeah, pig kick! Pig kick! <laughs> I love it. Now we can start giving him those stuff to trade in for gold. There was also a scary amount of spiders nearing the outskirts of the pigs and would eventually need to be taken care of. But on to bigger and better things, like seeing what else this map had in store for us. To my surprise, we came across more walrus and some that looked in need of our help. There we go, got him. Something I was trying to show everyone had me digging up graves. I promise there was a real reason for this. It involved blue gems and red gems, most of which could be found when digging up graves. Once ready, this would be the cave spelunking day. What horrors awaited us? And would we survive the lonesome dark? All right, where the bats at? No bats? Cinco de Mayo! Bats and little spiders. Fun. Whee! All right. So this is the way out right there. You see that? And we got to put this on. I think it's still cold out here too. What is this? Red mushroom. Blue mush tree. Ooh, what's that? Pink fern? Whoa! What the fudge is this? Excuse me? Oh my god. Oh, that's a creature. Okay. Oh no! Ooh, that's a mine of a spider. Woo! No, 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 no. I, I got. <laughs> JK! Whoa! Hello? Hello? Hi! the heck are you as one could imagine we did make it home safely and without dying a single time heck yeah we did one of the last few things to try was the portal in don't starve there was more story and lore to the game also portals that connected you to different worlds apparently maxwell's door uh here's the thing i don't know what's gonna happen so i'm, <laughs> I'm saving it doorway to adventure you're about to step into a long arduous journey to find maxwell you need you will need to survive five worlds each randomly generated to present a new challenge should you die you will start back at this portal but lose all your progress on the journey there we go okay generating worlds Chapter 1 of 5, Archaeological. You found my portal, did you? You didn't think you'd have learned your lesson by now. Oh, no, I didn't, apparently. Let's try something a little more challenging, shall we? Uh, well, god dang it. This isn't day one, guys. This is adventure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal, yo. If you guys want me to do adventure mode, I'll do it in another video of Don't Starve. But for now, I'm just going to survive like I've been doing here. Just because I feel like I've made a lot of progress and I don't want to have to do that. If I'd known that, I probably would have started it so much sooner. I'm just going to continue doing what I do best. Having fun. Today, we would witness a fight and my money was on the pig warriors. Though with a game like Don't Starve, you never knew what was going to happen. One of the last few things we would come to build was a bee box, or a bee's nest. Honey was needed, and that meant we needed to catch a few bees. Whoa, 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 I... What? I didn't... Oh, I did not know... I didn't hit... Oh, I hit F instead, that's what it was. Thank goodness it's that, oh man. Just before going into the next day, we found a new friend. Uh, hello? What the fudge? Whoa, that was you? It was you all this time, buddy? Aw. Is it just me or was I targeted here? All right, let's get some trees. Ooh, that's fun. That's not what I wanted. Well, a two? Okay, make it three. How about four? Can we get four guardians? We're all friends here. We're all friends, right? <gasps> I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I got, I got, wait, what? What is living wood? I'm chopping here, I'm chopping here. The only way to put that beauty to sleep was acorns. Plant some down and see what happens. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, I feel like that never would have stopped. With a new day here, we crafted a magical hat that would have its use within a few days. I didn't stop there, however, because I still needed to collect the honey from our friendly neighborhood bees. I think it's only for the red ones. I think it's only for the red ones. I'm sorry. There's so many bees. Ooh, I want it. 
Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I do want it. With my newly acquired saddle, the curiosity had me guessing. Could I ride things and don't starve? Oh, oh, you didn't like that? Well, how do I do it? Um, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I feel like if I try that, I'm gonna. Oh, we're gonna be a little uh, overwhelmed. Woo, that's a lot of spiders. Okay, buddy, you're you're so dead. I'm just gonna watch this from afar. Oh, poor guy. And they're eating the meat. Oh, wow. With my walking cane in hand and picking up a few pieces of reeds from the swamps, we could build ourselves another birdcage. Moments later, it was all downhill for our guests to the right. The last thing for me to do in the game was build a base. That meant we needed floors, some walls, and maybe more chests. All would come in due time. This took us traveling back towards the clockwork people, grabbing marble grounds around and chopping a few trees for the bits. Of course, it wouldn't be a party without more hounds mixed in with a bit of fire, would it? While placing down what I thought was cool, some marble grounds, apparently building a fire wasn't allowed. This would have me deciding on more marble flooring around the middle, planning out more pathing to see what I'd come up with. Soon after, I'd begin with the walls, leaving space in between just in case we wanted to build out some more, clearing down the rest of the trees we grew, and then digging up the stumps into the next day. What I realized a little late, you can't actually move the paths built in-game, so that left me a little confused here. What was my next plan, and would this work? The only motivation I had left in me was moving everything to the carpeted area from our science machine to the weather meter. Soon after, it was all about moving the chests closer to the stone walls, building out for extra space I always wanted. Now I could gather resources that were ready and making sure we had our stomach filled to the brim. Seeing that we had berries and no meat, I found myself looking at some cute beefalo. Unfortunately for us, they thought we were cute too. Now it was officially time to check on our spider friend. Okay, that's the last spider, so, hey, you know. Thankfully, I farmed up some stuff for, oh, it's a blood moon again, cool. Blood moon, what? <laughs> it's not a blood moon, a full moon. Do blood moons have one? Yeah, maybe. Looking into more recipes, I found a lantern that would really help with the caves. You can make a lantern? Whoa, straight up, that's kind of cool. Feelable, bright, and portable. We did need light bulbs, but before deciding on where to go next, we had more hounds approaching us. Because who doesn't love hounds? There's a lot of dogs, huh? That's a lot of dogs. That was definitely too close there because we had almost died. And now I needed something that could heal this Viking lady friend of ours. The best thing I found was some honey poultice, which meant I needed more reeds to then craft them into paper. So swamps, here I go. Yo, these are straight up healing things though. So good. It, again, getting the actual papers are a little bit tricky, but once you're able to get to that part, you're set. Honey is super easy to come by. I, at this point, am like having a loads and loads of it going. While arriving back at home, we had plenty of resources to go around. I can't believe I didn't try this stuff before. With our belly full and health looking great, I was curious to see what the other side of the caves would take us. So right now I need to get a bunch of these bulbous things, okay. With those light bulbs, it was time to see what this lantern was all about. First, we quickly had to chop a few trees down and clear any debris away. Planning down the rest of the acorns around that same area, it was back towards the cave with our newly acquired lantern. What is that noise? Oh, it's bats. They poop, I did not know they poop. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we gotta make sure we find our way back though. Look at that, the tentacles winning. With a few days out from 100 days, it was time to take all the spider eggs we had and plant them around closer to the base. All that was needed from me now was to search for some more level three spider eggs. The biggest bunch of spiders I found was near the pig king. So making my way back to base with what we had, I planted another spider egg down near the horde to create an army. The next best place I checked was near a bit of swamps to the left of our base. Ooh, level three, baby. Look at that. All right, I'm going to take that bad boy out. Yeah, most of us level two stuff here. So maybe they'll get to level three soon enough. Hello, pangoos. Hello, hello, hello. Please don't kill me. Go to oh, hey, they're going to sleep. Look at this. <laughs> Little pangoos going to sleep on my fire. All right, spooder egg. Number four. I think it's number four. I'm going to do that right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, level three there too. 
did a bit of looking into the magic side of things, trying to figure out the best way to spend our gems. This would be that day. Day 100 was here, and I had a small plan of building the press to hat to tator. <laughs> Something like that. <gasps> magic! Look at this. Ooh. Now, what does this do? Shadow manipulator. Meat effigy. What did this device do? And what was I about to unleash upon the world? Right there. A nightlight. What, what does it do? Just night lights things, I guess. Maybe if you have enough of them, they're like infinite night lights. Oh. Oh, this is getting into endgame stuff with this magic stuff. Holy crap. Oh, Chester's here. <laughs> hey. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. And just thank you for still being here, still showing so much support to this day. I really can't thank you guys enough. I love and appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this ride. I hope you enjoyed Don't Starve. It's different, I know, but I love it. I will be doing Don't Starve together. I'm not going to tell you when because I'm going to keep it a secret. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.